here we are here, guys. your boy architect king here with another live stream slash let's play i will be uploading this video that's currently live streaming to youtube so it's a let's play live stream and a podcast whatever you want to call it I have been playing so many damn games. Tekken 2, Justice 2, to Friday the 13th, which kind of failed because I don't know what happened to that stream. I was trying to stream yesterday to uh, Dead by Daylight. And here we have a game that I've been wanting to stream and do a Let's Play for a while. LA Noir. So, without further ado, let's do this. And while it's loading, never mind. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. A city of dreamers. of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam, 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. 
Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out places of here. to be. Happy hunting. What a dick. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. All right. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Sure. Look at this junk. My job to pick through other people's trash. Why would I ever want to do that? What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Wait. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? Yeah. So we need to find a way up. True. I forgot how. Damn. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Uh, they don't know. We got Detective King on the case. How you doing, Cole? Smith and Wesson, Found serial S71893. Two rounds fired. Instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. I thought it was on the... Uh, I guess. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. It shows some initiative, Ralph. See if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Uh, Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. through the intersection.
right here. would be open at 10.27 p.m. I will notice if... Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Okay. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, no. Model 27 with pearl fucking grips. No, that's a Walmart. Hey, I found it. Hello. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Gless Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Until we become dicks. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Take a left here. Take the next right. Take this left. Keep going on this road. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Take the next right turn. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. You need to take the next left. Contaminate the crime. so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Keep going on this road. Most of 
of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. Straight on here. Go straight. Go straight through. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Uh, you ready, tough guy? Huh? That was a very good... Ralph, you all right? I'm fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. We're gonna look around. No. We're here. It's been a while. Nope. That has nothing to do with the case. Nothing significant. This is any use to us. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. He didn't seem too happy about that. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me! Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. 
All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Leave the officers to be pencil pushers while us grunts fight the war. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope? A Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. There is no black and white. Are units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit of handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Next right. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. and your hands in the air. I'm getting hammered here, Felt! Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Shit. Backup will be here soon. I need auto aid for this. Hold on. Yes, aim assist. Let's fucking do this, guys. I need that shit on. LAPD, put down your weapons. Yeah, the man. bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. To chance, copper. Stay down. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Hell yeah. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. 
They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LNTD! You can go screw yourself. Watch it! He's hiding in the air! Tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, son, watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. No. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Back inside. I've done my time. Jackass. You assholes already screwed me once. It's over, Bowers. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Ah! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Uh, what about that, pretty boy? Give it up, Wendell! Ah! doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, two, leadership, Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now!
For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. So what's going on? Broad daylight, crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Railway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. All right, yes, it's a dead person. Don't you people have anything better to do? FN Browning, serial number 01138. I need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Shell casings. These look like 32s. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Which witness? God damn it. The only one I saw knows is here. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Ay, ay, ay. This is 
RTI, a member of the American Century Broadcasting System. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. So. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. She's more worried about the fucking earrings. Edgar Kalu. She is. He runs the jewelry about store. Losing her freedom. Now we He's showing me a lovely watch. Woman she is. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Go back at this A lot of people do. Like it's not my fault if he has nice things. Damn. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And, and then another. three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter.
Make the next left. Take the next right turn. Officer, what can I do you for? Any information? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Crush us. Where the fuck is my goddamn. Sir, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Oh, bullshit. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! Hello! Get back here! Running. Too late, Kalu! Don't need this? That's one heck of a Sunday. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Yes. You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. I got this. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yeah. Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, 
opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. I got all of it. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? I'm feeling great, Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I will not fail you, boy. This is Officer King. About to get a promotion. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Fuck your lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. My pay is, uh, you're going to jail for a very long time. Stupid idiot. You idiot. followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. So full of shit. All right, let's do this shit. So you shot this guy over the sale of a watch. You think Jewish people are going to continue to take it lying down? Straight in orderly lines to the ovens? Not this heat. I say line. enough Not is enough. Death. No more. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Oh, I'm about to get the ass from all the lifetime. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Fuck a lawyer boy. can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. I can prove everything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. <laughs> Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated oh, Jews, didn't he, Mr. I guess, Kalu? I don't, I don't know. know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Why can't we have more honorable officers like that? That case just made me. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering the justice. Of the police force. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them.
true, true. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, bro. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot-free. Right, I'll be right free. back, guys. I need to do something. I need to check on the kids. Then I'm babysitting. Be right back. I am back, guys. Let's do this shit. You're wasting time. Get out of here. I'm gonna make them take me to the picture. They really pushed.
Alright, I need to test this shit out again because it popped up on the other screen. I just want to make sure I got this shit correct. Let's do this. Welcome to the chat room. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to desktop mode. I'm not gonna log in. Huh. Hold on, guys. I'm probably gonna do this case. Uh, actually, I mean, I'm gonna do this case, and I'm probably gonna chill after when I get off. Why is this not working? I don't know. Don't care. You threw quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. You gotta work tonight. Don't feel like doing that. Mary says I'll sing. I guarantee he won't. I don't know why. But let's solve a case. That's the guy. You know this place? I hear he's an honest sure. cop. Near the old I gas works and signal depot in the warehouse. I'll direct. Straight up. Straight through. So, tell me a little about yourself, Mel. Are we friends now? Because we have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early '45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. Wounded. Shipped back home. A year on the beat. Straight through the next intersection. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly stole 40 jacks on the hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe from the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Next left. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years of... All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and 7th. Any unit to handle, close to identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saras. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Wait, my gun. Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me.
has a failed case and I can't shoot him. One shot to the back. <laughs> My aim on Parker is shocked. <laughs> oh, god damn. Oops. <laughs> oh god. He looks so surprised. Oh, I, I can use my Xbox controller for the PC as a controller. Oh, and I can use my Xbox and uh, play my Xbox games on my PC because it can stream that. I can watch it on here and here at the same time. Pretty cool. Super streamer. Did it get worse? It looks like it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's still about to swell. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it swelled up here now. Before it was just kind of the back corner. Now it's the whole fucking like, top lid. Think Daniel will send me home or something? I don't know if he'll send you home. They don't send nobody home unless you're dying. But yeah, you know, I would probably go in there and show him. Like, dude, I'm not gonna go to work. I'm probably going to the hospital because I've been taking ibuprofen and everything, and this will not go down. <laughs> I would. I would go get checked out just because it's on your eye. Did you put the drops in too? Yeah. Did a couple. I mean, it's only probably been an hour, so I don't know if it worked that quick. See what it looks like in the next hour or so. I, mean, I took four. Four is around five o'clock. Let's see. <laughs> That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. Always making things so complicated. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Stefan's cool. You giving me the hi hat? Doesn't tell me anything. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. How's the world looking? Ah, always the same two of you fine. How about you? I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical kill procedure with contaminated soil, I guess. Happier times, I guess. Shit. Hey, Dave. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an Another average day, guy. What was he doing out here?
Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. something to go on. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. That's a lot of blood. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. yesterday? Alright, where's my guy at here? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. Be sure. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Bitch. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Sure. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Man. No, 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 no. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? Detective King does not drive. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Can I just listen to this awesome music? 
you just say. a minute LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. You're a good wife, Mrs. Black. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. The first day we're going to do... Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Just leaving the thing half finished. Can't be right. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. I don't want you. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. 
my skull. It, it feels like it's in a vice. I'm going to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. The occasions that made you laugh. The times that made you smile. Who brought this home? Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. Gracias. Glasses are a match. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? I don't know. All right, let's review the shit we got so far.
wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. So. I'm all right now, detectives. Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy on her. She's had a rough day. I don't go easy on anyone. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Oh, oh, oh. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. Train ticket. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. 
He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Where I feel like going. He's giving my chauffeur. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things has happened. Hey, Who's I know you. No, you don't. You looking for someone? That broad's got socks in the You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Gracias. He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? You? Root beer Cole Phelps, around, LAPD. Oh. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. Yeah. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through and pour blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. In this time. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Hmm. Well, technically, he is part of a crime. I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. I know. I got it. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? We're going to his fucking apartment, Dad. Why would I do the driving and, uh... Car 11K, car 11K, come in. KGPL calling car 11K, 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Kind of reel this guy in, Phelps. Check the place out. Come on. Where am I going?
Apartment 2. Okay. Let's go. Fuck some people up. Arrest everyone. Yeah. In every bullseye brand cigarette. Mellow tapes. Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. No pussy's worth it. Uh-uh. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. What an You got idiot. an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. I'm gonna go all the way. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Yes. Good, get going. I got a question. Guys. Better go earn our pathetic wages. I will be off right now. I'm gonna go relax before work. I might be back tonight if I get sent home. Like I said, I got a swollen eye. We've got a scene, a dumped car, and a witness. Don't know what it's get there. there. I'll be back here later or tomorrow to complete this case. I'm taking a break from Friday 13th and Dead by Daylight other horror games to those who have watched me stream thank you hope everyone has a great day peace out